Hello everyone, I'm Alvaro Huertas Garcia and today I'm going to talk about using Pickle in Google Colab. Well, I hope uh, almost or already have heard about Pickle and if you haven't, uh, briefly I will say that Pickle is a py uh, Python package that allows us to download and load uh, files without running again the code that have created that file. Okay, imagine uh, this situation. This is my practical example. I have this large code, okay, that on the only mm, or the main objective of this code is to create to create this data frame, okay, and it takes a quite long. And now I have downloaded as a pickle file, okay, with a uh, data frame with pickle. This file is now in my drive, okay. I have downloaded and uploaded to drive, okay. Which is the, adva the advantages of pickle that now in another session without running again the code that have created that mm, that file i can now load it and now use it the data frame okay so it's mm, very useful because the, mm, you only have to create the file one time and the time that is spent is only one time no no several time or each time we we want that data frame okay so it's save time uh, now i'm going to s show you how to load the file uh, the pickle file in google collab okay first we run the this code we where we p import pickle now we mount drive because my file is on drive okay once it's uh, mounted um, now i load the file with pickle load this function okay don't forget to put rv okay because files are binary pickle files are binary well this is the problem uh, this is the value error i didn't know what what it is and i asked uh, on google and or, or as always in stack overflow uh, they see they say that the promise was the python version this is the version in google collab and pickle needs a uh, 3.7 or uh, or higher of python okay so the solution is to use pickle 5 okay here we download it now we import P, uh, pickle 5 as pickle okay we change the version and now we use it to load the, it's the same code pickle load uh, load the file with rb version binary version and now finally we hopefully we have the data frame as you see and this is this is all i hope mm, you enjoy it and if you have the same problem i have solve it and if if that if if this uh, if i haven't solved it please send an email or a message okay i will be grateful to help you and thank you very much for hearing me